Hello everyone, my name is Joseph and welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. This video is sponsored by PTCGOStore.com, the best place for you to get Pokemon TCG code cards. Are you looking to complete your card collection online for the latest set? PTCGOStore.com has everything you need. And please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Please enjoy the discount and your purchase directly supports the content I create in this channel. Thank you guys so much for your support and for your supporting PTCGOStore.com. In today's video, we're taking a look at a deck that requires zero, yes you heard it right, zero energy. And we're mainly using two main attackers, Hisuian Decidueye and Hisuian Overquill from the Astral Radiant set. First, let's take a look at Hisuian Decidueye. This is a fighting type stage 2 Pokemon with 160 HP, 2 retreat cost, no resistance, and is weak to psychic. It has 2 attacks, and we will not be using its second attack at all since we're not using any energies in this build. But it's a pretty nice attack. For 1 fighting and 2 colorless energy, Direct Arrow can deal 80 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon anywhere on the field. However, its first attack, Piercing Claw, will be our main focus for this build. For 0 energy, this attack deals 30 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. This attack is so powerful that it can pretty much deal a knockout blow even to a Pokemon VMAX with 8 or more damage counters already on it. It is worth noting that I'm using this Rowlet as its basic stage because it has the ability Sky Circus. If you use Bird Keeper support card during your turn, Rowlet can attack for 0 energy. Wind Charge can deal 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is a nice way to get a cheeky knockout early on in the game or to deal a significant amount of chip damage. Of course, the only thing you really have to worry about is dealing those damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon so that Hisuian Decidueye can deal big damage. And to help with that, I have a 3-3-3 line of Inteleon, especially this one with a quick shooting ability. Once per turn, you can deal 2 damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. However, I'm also using the Inteleon and Drizzle with the Shady Dealings ability. If you evolve into Drizzle or Inteleon from your hand, you can search your deck for one or even two trainer cards. This is very effective, especially when you need the rare candy or evolution incense to set up Hisuia Decidueye. And you can reuse this ability with the help of the scoop up net. And of course, Irida combos well with the Inteleon line since it allows you to search for one water Pokemon from your deck and also one item card. Next up, I also have a copy of Galarian Zigzagoon with a headbutt tantrum ability. If you put it from your hand to the bench, you can put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. One damage counter can equal to 30 damage with his Suyin Decidueye, so it does make a big difference. And I also have a full set of Old Cemetery Stadium. Each time either player attaches an energy from their hand to one of their non-psychic type Pokemon, put two damage counter on that Pokemon. This won't affect us at all since we're not using energy in this build anyways, but this really helps to build those damage counters on our opponent's side. And to pair with Old Cemetery, I also added a full set of Crushing Hammer. You flip a coin, if it is heads, you can discard one energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. By successfully removing energy, that will mean your opponent will have to reattach another energy, again, dealing more damage counter in the process while the Old Cemetery Stadium is in play. However, when all else fails, we will be using Hisuian Overquill as our secondary attacker. It's a Dark-type Pokemon with 130 HP, 2 retreat cost, no resistance, and is weak to fighting. And we're mainly focusing on its first attack, Tormenting Poison. Again, for zero energy, your opponent's active Pokemon becomes Poison. However, the Poison will deal 5 damage counter to your opponent's Pokemon between checkup instead of 1. If the Poison is not removed, we're looking at 100 damage at the start of your next turn. The Poison damage will easily set up for Hisuian Decidueye's Knockout Blow. As for the other cards worth noting, I have Snorlax with the Gormandise ability for our main draw engine, Manaphy with a Wave Veil ability to protect our bench from damage, and finally I'm also using Glorious Support card, just in case we need to set up up to 3 basic Pokemon from our deck straight to our bench. I gotta say guys, for 0 energy, this build works very very smoothly and it is very consistent and it's very fun to play. And that's pretty much it, you can find the complete decklist in the description below. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Hisuian Decidueye and Hisuian Overquill. Alright, on to our first match, we are going to go first. And we have Hisuian Quillfish to go into the active, which actually attacks also for zero energy. It's a nice way to deal chip damage if you have no other choice, but you do have to flip coins successfully. Have Lava Ball, I'm probably going to get a Sobble set up we have a drizzle so we can use that on the next turn and i'm just gonna pass and my opponent's using a metagross v max build which is a really nice refreshing matchup for us it's been a while since i've encountered this one and they're also using zashid v okay cool 
So on our next turn, I can evolve into Hisuian Overquill, which I can start dealing 5 poison damage to their active. And really, your main goal is to deal enough damage so that you can deal a knockout blow with Hisuian Decidueye, which we still have to set up. Bullet Punch. They got two heads from that. Nice. 60 damage, but thankfully our Quillfish has 80 HP, allowing it to survive. Let's go ahead and evolve it. And then I'm going to use Drizzile Shady Dealings. Hammer. Oh, I forgot about the hammer. Let's go ahead and use Hammer. Let's take a chance. Nice. We got heads. So let's remove Metagross Energy. Use Irida to get another Sable and a Level Ball. And start setting up our Hisuian Decidueye line. Let's get a Rowlet. And I'm just going to poison my opponent's active, dealing 5 poison damage. And ideally, you really want to set up 2 Inteleon line. Because uh, the more you have, the more you can use quick shooting, build up damage, and then the next challenge really is keeping up... Um, a line of Hisuian Decidueye because if your opponent has that ability to knock out a Decidueye, it's hard, it's kind of hard to keep setting up a stage two. They are going to evolve into Metagross V Max, but because of the Crushing Hammer, we remove that one energy so they shouldn't be able to attack. Oh, they have Bronzong. They're going to transfer the energy. Oh, no. So our Overquill will not survive an attack here. That deals 100 damage, but that sets it up. Now that it's in a momentum, it's dealing 200 plus damage every turn now. I'm going to promote my Rowlet in the active. Ooh, we got a quick shooting Inteleon. Let's evolve that. Can deal enough damage. I'm hoping that once I use Bruno can get a Decidueye. Let's evolve into Drizzile first. And then I'll get Old Cemetery. Use Bruno. Come on, I need Evolution Incense and Rare Candy. We got the Rare Candy, but no Evolution. Not even a Decidueye. Get rid of Gloria. We don't need that as much anymore. So unfortunately, our active's gonna get knocked out, so I'll just set up another Rowlet. Go from there. This is a really bad predicament. Um, okay, alright, so they're gonna get a knockout. I'll just put my Rowlet again. I'm hoping I can get another, another Marnie. Got two quick shooting Intellion set up though, so that's good. Use Marnie. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that puts our rare candy to the bottom of our deck. We got evolution incense. Um, let me just scoop this guy up. We can use Gorman dice this turn. We're desperate. Quick shooting. I'll just continue to build up the damage counter on their Metagross uh, lineup then. Um, might as well use Evolution Incense, thin out my deck, and then get a Decidueye. That also shuffles, shuffles our deck. Ooh, we still don't get the Rare Candy, though. It's no longer at the bottom of the deck, as we shuffled it, thanks to the Evolution Incense, but still no good. See, they're... Uh, man. They are... On a momentum here, so this is not good. I'm gonna put Manaphy in the active because I'm planning to use Bird Keeper. Hopefully, it's enough so we can draw into a rare candy. Still, no <laughs> still nothing. This is horrible. Um, hmm. Just crushing hammer, nice. Move that. Use escape rope. Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice my mana fee. It's really of no use to this matchup anyways. Use quick shooting. So even if they do evolve into a VMAX, it's within knockout range. It's just... Gotta get this Decidueye. 
get back the overquill line. I'm gonna discard Marnie and then get a quill fish. I'm just gonna pass. So let's see what my opponent does here. They won't be able to retreat their Metagross V that easy. They are going to evolve into VMAX though. Unfortunately, they're just going to transfer energy and get a knockout. And we can't even evolve into Hisuian Decidueye just yet. If anything, I'm just going to use Professor's Research and at least get a knockout here. Other than that, we're pretty much... Uh, this is pretty much a losing game. So they get a knockout. They need two more prizes left. I'm just going to put Rollet in the active. Dude, <laughs> finally! <laughs> We finally got the rare candy. We finally get a Hisuian Decidueye going. Let's use Professor's Research. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, we can use Level Ball. We have our last Rowlet from our deck. And I'm going to start setting up their Zashin V just in case. So we're just going to quick shooting. And then we're going to deal a knockout. Piercing Claw. Dealing 300 damage. Knocking out... Their Metagross VMAX getting us our first three prizes. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a long time coming, but we finally got to evolve our AC and Decidueye. That was really... Oh, my goodness. Um, but even if we knock out this Zashin V, we're only getting two prizes. But you know what? Um, with no energy in play, it's going to be a lot harder for them to charge up their... Metagross, so I think we should be okay. Dude, we got a boss. Let's go. <laughs> Let's game. Let's go. Let's boss their Metagross. Wow, that was a close one, man. That was, <laughs> that was really stupid. <laughs> Took us a while. All right, on to our second match. We're going to start this one off with the Galerian Zigzagoon to go into the active. Not an ideal start. But we do have Gloria. We can set up three more basic Pokemon from our deck to the bench. But we won't be able to use it until our second turn. My opponent's going to Mulligan. They have a lot of special energy in their deck. Um, Old Cemetery is good to put into play right away. That's going to add damage counter to our opponent. Can't really do much, so we're just going to pass. And we're going against a Blissey V matchup. So Blissey V, thankfully, doesn't set up as fast, so Galarian Zigzagoon should be able to survive an attack here. And, um... Blissey V has a lot of HP. Especially if they use Cape of Toughness. But, uh, Hisui and Decidueye will be hitting for weakness, so... We're hitting twice as much damage. It's gonna be a lot easier for us to knock out Blissey V. All right, path to the peak. That doesn't really affect us because we don't have any V Pokemon. Quick ball. So they're discarding a lot of special energy, which is a nice setup for their Lissy V. They also have Miltank. Again, uh, kind of useless against this matchup because we don't have any V Pokemon. They deal 40 damage against our Zigzagoon. Go ahead and use Old Cemetery and then Gloria. Snorlax for sure. And then I think I'll start with Sable and Hisuian Quillfish. And I'm just going to pass. Since my opponent is relying on accelerating energy from their discard pile, I don't know if Old Cemetery is going to deal that, ma uh, that much damage to their Blissey V. That's why setting up an Inteleon line here is gonna be very important. That way we can add that uh, quick, sh uh, quick shooting damage counter against their Blissey V. And also Overquill's Poison is gonna help a lot. So they are gonna get a knockout here, dealing 120 damage now. And with the powerful energy, that adds even more damage. So I'm just going to promote my Quillfish. Play Snorlax as well. Evolve into Hisuian Overquill. Use Drizzile. 
shady dealings and then get a level ball so I can set up Rowlet. So we have, we can fully evolve into Hisuya and Decidueye on our next turn. And I'm just going to use Tormenting Poison for 50 damage against their Blissey V. So Blissey V also has an ability that once, if you attach an energy from your hand to it, it can remove any special condition. But even if it, even if my opponent does that, it removes the poison, but it will deal two damage counter because of the old cemetery. So now it's even, even if it's not weak against fighting, we can just easily knock it out with our Hisui and Decidueye. We have rare candy, we have Hisui and Decidueye on hand, so we can easily knock it out. They are gonna use Avery, gonna sacrifice Snorlax. We have one on hand anyways, or on our bench. So they're going to knock out my Overquill for another prize. Promote Rowlet. Oh, we got a Professor. Dude, that was an awesome top deck. Let's evolve into our Hisuian Decidueye. Use Professor's Research. We can recover the other Decidueye when we need to. Get another Rowlet and another uh, Quillfish. Piercing Claw dealing 540 damage. Knocking out their Bliss EV. Fortunately, that only gets us two prizes, but that's a good start. And again, the momentum with Bliss EV is just awful, I think, in my opinion. Because they'll attach an energy to their Bliss EV, but they're not going to get a knockout off of our um, Decidueye. But they are using Dunspar, so that removes weakness to their Blissey V. It's going to be a lot harder for us to knock it out. We will have to build up the damage counter on their Blissey V. Um, Avery. I'm probably going to discard Snorlax. Snorlax is kind of useless at this point anyways, because um, we have a lot of cards on hand already. And they're just going to pass. They don't even attack. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and use Irida to get a quick shooting in Teleon. And another level ball. Let's evolve this. And then start building up damage to their active. And then I'll get another uh, Sobble. Yeah, I'll get another Sobble. And I could scoop up Inteleon. So right now we're dealing 60 damage. Yeah, I'll scoop up Inteleon. I could use Drizzile. Perhaps set up another Decidueye. And I'll just attack. 60 damage. That's a total of 80 damage to their Bliss EV. So now it's within knockout range on our next turn. And I think that's the purpose of the second attack for Decidueye. Because 80 damage to any one Pokemon anywhere on the field... Pretty much sets up to help you knock out any Pokemon, even VMAXs in the game. It's just very expensive to pay out. My opponent's gonna Marnie though, so that does mess up our hand a little bit. Dude. <laughs> Alright. I'm not complaining. So we're able to use two Shady Dealings on our next turn. And we can even get a rare candy. Evolution Incense, get another Decidueye going. And my opponent's just building up another Bliss EV. Looks like they're just gonna sacrifice their active to us. That's gonna get us two more prizes. And uh, we also got an Irida from that Marnie. So we our hand is our hand is perfect right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and use Shady Dealings. Rare Candy, another Shady Dealings, then Evolution Incense, could grab a Inteleon, oh you know what, uh, Decidueye, Decidueye, we can get an Inteleon with Irida anyways, set up another Hisuian Decidueye, then Quick Shooting, and can try getting a chance here, ooh okay. 
So let's get a knockout. Two prizes. 240 damage. That's two prizes for us. Mana fee and a scoop up net. So I was hoping that I would crushing hammer this energy. That way they cannot attack. I mean, I mean, either way, they're not going to knock out our Isuyan Decidueye. They're only dealing 60 damage at this point. They're going to stack a bunch of energies from their discard pile, though. So the question now is, are we able to stack enough damage to their Blissey V so that we can get a knockout? So let's try our first quick shooting. I can use my scoop up net to get to evolve the other one. And that's going to allow us to use another quick shooting. That's six damage, 60 damage to their Blissey V. See how much damage we're going to deal. 180 damage, not quite enough to knock it out though. But we should get a knockout on the next turn. They're using Hyper Potion. 120. Okay, well, they're going to retain 120 damage. That's still enough to get a knockout with our second Hisuian Decidueye from our bench. And for all intent and purpose, we're going to quick shooting one more time to deal as much damage as we can. Here we go, guys. Piercing Claw for a knockout, getting us our last two prizes. Wow. <laughs> Not too bad. Good game. All right, moving on to our next match. And uh, we're going to start this one off. I'm going to put Hisuian Quillfish in the active. We have Rowlet also to set up. And we have Level Ball. Get a Sobble. We have a few Drizzles on hand. Even add a damage counter to their Pokemon with Galarian Zigzagoon. So we're going up against a Crabominable V to start. So Crabominable V for one Water Energy. Discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. They're going to Marnie though. So we're going to lose our Drizzle. Alright, you know what? I appreciate that. Okay, they could discard... Oh, a boss. They discard a boss. Let me use Old Cemetery. Evolve into Overquill. And then... Can use Level Ball to get a Drizzle. Let's see what can you use here. Um, evolve into a Drizzle. Um, could get an Irida instead. I could save Irida for the next turn. That way I can evolve into Inteleon. So I'll just poison my opponent's active for now. That's going to build up damage. They can't retreat it as easily because it has 4 retreat cost. We can evolve into Inteleon. And then get our Decidueye line going. Scoop up our Overquill and then get a knockout on our next turn. And my opponent's also using Rapid Strike Inteleon. Alright. So I think we got this though. This is a pretty easy matchup I hope. So Crabominable discards cards but it all it's also like decidueye hisuian decidueye where depending on how many damage counter your opponent has it deals a lot of damage but it requires three energies i'll uh, use bird keeper to switch our rowlet in the active get another rowlet and i think i'll save irida i'll just wind shard this guy because it's a VMAX, it's nice to set it up. That way, uh, we can easily knock it out later on. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to use it to attack. I mean, 140 damage, I think, is not going to be enough to knock out our Hisuian Decidueye. But I don't know what other shenanigans they're using. I mean, they can also use their Inteleon's ability to deal some chip damage to our bench. And they're just going to pass. They don't even discard our top deck. Okay, I got a Drizzle from that, so I'm going to use Irida to get a quick shooting Inteleon and a rare candy. And then I can use Drizzle to get an Evolution Incense, so we can get a Hisuian Decidueye set up here. And we also have a scoop up net, we can even knock out their active because it only has 10 HP left. Let's do that, we get two prizes for that. 
And it depends on which Pokemon they put in the active, we could get a knockout again. Bruno and another Rowlet. Okay, we're not gonna get a knockout here. We can add two damage counters to their Inteleon. So that's four damage counter. And then we can evolve into our Hisuian Decidueye. And they're not gonna knock it out. So we, we're, we're safe. They're not gonna knock out our Decidueye. And we're dealing 120 damage to their Rapid Strike Inteleon VMAX. So it's definitely not gonna survive the next turn. However, our Hisuian Decidueye should survive an attack here. G Max Spiral dealing only 140 damage. And look at that, we got an Inteleon. We can set up another Hisuian Decidueye on our next turn. And we're just gonna knock out this Inteleon V Max. We're softening up the other one on the bench. Got another old cemetery, Drizzile, and an Overquill. All right, 80 damage should be enough. There's a, there's a scoop. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. Good game. All right, let's get into another match. My opponent wins the coin flip and he decides to go first. Both of us are gonna mulligan. And it looks like I'm gonna start this one off with a Hisuin Quillfish to go into the active. And we also have a Rowlet on hand. We have Old Cemetery. Bird Keeper could come in handy actually. And my opponent's gonna mulligan again. And they have an Inteleon line in their deck as well. So let's see what we're up against here. Yes. Ooh, we got another level ball. Okay, so this is an Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. Typical to go first because on the second turn they can evolve into Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. And with a second energy attachment, they can deal as much as 240 damage. And with a choice belt, that's 270 damage on turn two. That's insane. Very fast deck to go against. They have a Sable in their bench though. Let's see, let's get a Sable with this level ball. I think I'm gonna use Bird Keeper and get a cheeky knockout here actually. Since their, their build is really fast, it's actually good to get ahead in price. And for sure, they're gonna knock out our Rowlet, so I'll just get another one. So let's win shard this Sobble for our first prize. Nice. And we got a quick ball. So our next step here is most likely they're gonna evolve into Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. And they have Irida to get everything they need. But the knockout on the Sobble is actually very helpful because. That can get them any trainer card from their deck. And they can easily energize their Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, despite it having to discard energy sometimes. So they're gonna knock out my Rowlet. What I'm gonna try and do is stall with my Hisuian Overquill. Then we're gonna poison it, weaken it, and then we're gonna evolve into our Hisuian Decidueye. Meantime, I'm gonna use my Gloria to get another Sobble and also another Rowlet. And we're just gonna Poison this guy for five poison damage every turn. So unless they remove that, it's gonna be within knockout range. And uh, yeah, there it is. There's the Melanie. That's what I'm talking about. They can easily energize their. Can you imagine 270 damage every turn. It's crazy. They're preparing another Ice Rider Calyrex, more Sable line. And yeah, with a quick shooting in Talion, they can hit anywhere from 270 against the V Pokemon. There goes our Overquill, but that's okay. We have Evolution Incense. We can evolve into our Hisuian Decidueye and get a knockout here for three prizes. And we're still going to be ahead in prize. And my opponent's only getting one prize at a time. So I think we have the advantage. We just have to keep up. Deal enough damage on their other Ice Rider and then we should be able to win this game. So 120 damage, that's well beyond what we need to get a knockout here. Let me just uh, get another, we got Overquill. I think I'll just prepare another Quillfish. And that's gonna help us poison the other Ice Rider Calyrex once we knock out this one in the active. 
But we're going to be drawing dead. So I think the best thing to do here is actually get the Inteleon with the Shady Link's ability. We have two rare candies on hand anyways. So once we evolve with this, we can get two uh, trainer cards from our deck instead. Let's go ahead and do that. I can get another Evolution Incense so we can evolve into Hisui and Decidueye to get a knockout. And also I'll get a level ball. Get a Drizzile with this. And we can get another trainer card. So we, we are well on our way. I think we got this game. So far we are in good position. So let's just get a Drizzile. Get another trainer card to draw into more cards. Dude, they scoop! Oh, I wasn't even done yet! Well, needless to say, that last match was cut off a little short, so let's get into another match. We're gonna start this one with the Sable in the active. And we have Rowlet. can set that up in the bench. And since we are going second, we can actually use Gloria to set up three more basic Pokemon on our bench. Wait. What? <laughs> What's this? Another Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX build? Back to back? Unreal. Is this the same is this the same player? I don't I don't think it is. Well, regardless, this is our second chance to showcase this deck against Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. Again, Ice Rider Calyrex is a very fast paced uh, deck. Typical for them to go first, attach an energy. They can evolve into a VMAX next turn. Let's hammer away their energy. Nice. That could slow them down. We're just going to use Gloria here to set up three basic Pokemon. Let's get Snorlax, another Sable, I think, and then a Hisuian Quillfish. So we can start poisoning their VMAX on our next turn. So they might not be able to attack here, but again, it's typical for them. Well, there's the Melanie. So they can get two energies on their Ice Rider Calyrex V. Most likely they're going to evolve into it, and then they're going to knock out our Sable. Again, very fast-paced, and with the Intellion line, they can get whatever trainer card they, they want from their deck. Dude, they're just going to pass. We got another hammer. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's evolve into a Drizzile. Shady Dealings. And then... Let's go ahead and scoop up our active. And then we can... Evolve into Overquill. So let's use Evolution Incense to get Hisuian Overquill. And use Drizzile again. And then I'm just going to get Old Cemetery so that it's going to start dealing damage each time they attach an energy. Use Marnie. We got another Hammer. Let's see. Let's go. No. Okay. We're not successful with that one. And let's use Tormenting Poison to deal 5 damage counter. So I'm saving the level ball. We can get another Drizzile with that so that we can evolve into Quick Shooting Inteleon. Add more damage counter. And then maybe get Irida. And then we can... Let's see if we can evolve into Hisui and Decidueye the next few turns. It all depends on what my opponent does here, but... Most likely, they're just going to evolve, remove that poison, knock out our overquill. Yeah. But they will have to attach an energy. That's 7 damage counter. We can evolve into a quick shooting. That's 9 damage counter. And then we can get a knockout with... Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. My opponent is so oblivious to what's going to happen next. They don't know what's going on here. No idea. So the next step is to evolve into our Hisuian Decidueye. They're gonna knock out my Overquill. You get a prize for that. You can promote our Rowlet, but you know what? We don't have all the elements we need on hand, so I don't know what to do with this. We can evolve into our Inteleon and use the level ball to get a Drizzile. That's our last one in the deck. Get rid of this. Use Quick Ball so we can set up another Rowlet. And uh, with this, I don't think Irida is going to be helpful here. So, uh, ooh, Bruno. Uh, Bruno is going to help us. Come on, Bruno. I need Rare Candy and Decidueye. Let's go. <laughs> yes! So let's get a Hisuya Decidueye. We have Rare Candy. Evolve so we can get a knockout here. Three prizes. We have another level ball. 
and a quick ball. So I'll set up another Hisuya and Quillfish. That's going to help us with their other Ice Rider. Quick shooting their active, and that's enough damage counter to knock it out. Piercing Claw for the knockout. <laughs> that's three prizes for us. Dude, we are getting everything we need. No energy, guys. Zero energy in this build. This is insane, and we are winning against VMAX builds so easy. But uh, let's see what my opponent does. They can probably get a melody. Um, they can knock out. There's the melody. Melody, not melody. They're going to knock out my active with Ice Rider Calyrex V. And then. Yeah, we're. They're not going to win this game. <laughs> they're not going to win this game. No way. Dude, they're also using Palkia. No way they're going to win this game. There's. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> They're only taking one prize at a time. And we're taking multiple prizes. This is insane. Super, super insane combo, guys. If you want to build with no energy and win games, this is it. This is it. So now, let's see what my opponent is trying to get here. What's their win condition? You know they can energize their Inteleon, probably beat us up that way. Battle VIP, quick ball. Alright, let's see what they're trying to do here. A Manaphy, 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 Manaphy. <laughs> And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel, and as always, stay safe and have a great day.